Matin Vagucht, Agus Fachje Orscht, Hien Lesson Show. Good morning to you and welcome to this lesson. Hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to talk about identity in Gaelic. Talking about identity in Gaelic is very challenging for, I would say, the majority of learners, if not every Gaelic learner, because it's just such a different concept than we have in English or maybe other languages as well. But it doesn't have to be a big struggle. This video is going to walk you through how this all works, the mindset behind it, and then how to use it yourself more naturally. Okay, so before we look at our sentences up here, before we really dive into it, it's important to understand the mindset behind this concept of identity in Gaelic. In English, we would say, I am a teacher, speak about myself, I am a teacher, I am American, I am a Mainer, but da 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 I am, I am, I am. This is, this is who I am, this is what I am. Whereas in Gaelic, it's not quite the same. In Gaelic, we're going to say that these things are a part of me inside. So, for example, I'm a teacher. If we're saying it literally in Gaelic, it's a teacher or teacherness that's in me. It's Americanness that's in me. It's an American that's in me, for example. And again, these are things that are deep inside, deep in our identity. So they're longer lasting. Yeah. So to recap, in English we say, I am something, other languages do this too, whereas Gaelic, if it's, about, if it's an aspect of identity that's long-lasting, it's going to be in you. In you. Okay, Gleva. Let's take a look at a few examples. So these examples up here are all about the Witcher. <laughs> if you saw the first story video about the common people in the Witcher and the kind of different views on, well, on witchers, <laughs> what they think about them, you're familiar with this phrase, she murstuden a haunta. Yeah. Let's go through all our sentences just uh, first to make sure that they're clear. We have to understand what's up here in order to really look at it closely. Okay. She murstuden a haunta. Again, if you saw that video, you probably remember, she murstuden a haunta. They are murderers. <laughs> they are murderers. If we're going to spell this out literally, it is murderers that's in them. Remember in Gaelic, when talking about identity, you know, um, longer lasting parts of identity, deep truths about ourselves, we could think of it that way, it's in you. So that's why it's in them. Yeah. She murstud in a haunta. It's murderers that are in them. They are murderers. Greva. Coming down here. She bana frunsa a hincha. Hmm. She is a princess. And who are we talking about? Siri. <laughs> And again, literally, it's going to sound completely different. It is a princess that's in her. Remember, this is about deep identity. It's deep in her. Princessness, like the status or the role of a princess. Yeah, is in her. Okay. She witcher a hound. He is a witcher. He's a witcher. Probably talking about Geralt or Lambert or Cohen, Vesemir. She witcher a hound. He is a witcher. Or more literally, it is a witcher that's in him. Deep identity. It's in us in Gaelic. <clears throat> and then she witcher in a hunting. <laughs> we are witchers. Mm hmm. We are witchers, or more literally, it is witchers, or it are witch, it are witchers. No, it is witchers. It's witchers that are in us. Again, identity. It's in us. It's a part of us inside. Gleva. So, looking at these phrases, maybe you were expecting, well, he, like a, the letter e for him, the letter i e for her, you know, us, Jean. But all of these look different. All of these endings. Why do they look different? Well, because, as we've been saying, 
identity is in you, it's, you know, a deep part of you, we're saying in them, in him, in her, in us. That's what these are here. <clears throat> so, taking a closer look, aunta is aun plus it. In plus them makes aunta. <laughs> and it looks pretty different at first. However, these endings on the end, like anain, aunta, excuse me, the TA here, that's what I'm referring to. The TA on the end here, this ending here, like that. These are very consistent. So once you see these patterns, you'll start to be able to look at one of these and, and have a sense of what it already means. Yeah, it won't look so foreign because you'll know the, the ending on it. That's, that's for another time. So, <clears throat> again, in us or in them is aunta. Incha is aun plus e. In and her make incha. Aun, aun plus e. We don't have an e on the end, just aun. Aun, anin. This is aun plus shin. There we are. So this is one challenge uh, to talking about identity in Gaelic is knowing these phrases here, these specific ones for who we're talking about. And that takes some time, takes some practice. Okay, maha, gleva, she muerstiden ahaunta. It is murderers that are in them or more you know, kind of smoothed out, smoothing out the translation, they are murderers. She banafrunsa ahincha. It is a princess that's in her. Like the identity of a princess is in her. Smoothing it out, she is a princess. She witcher ahaun. It is a witcher that's in him. It's the identity of a witcher that's in him. Smoothing out the translation, he is a witcher. The aun is the he part. Just like in incha, this is the she part. Aunta, this is the they. Anain, this is the we. She witcher and a hanang. We are witchers, smoothing it out. But literally we're saying it is witchers that are in us. The identity of witchers that is in us. Again, identity in Gaelic, if it's long lasting, if it's kind of a core truth about yourself or a core fact about your identity, it's in you. Gleva. <clears throat> nice. So this is how it works here. Now, what about if you want to ask someone, like, are you, are you Scottish? Are you Irish? Are you American? Are you Canadian? That kind of thing. Are you a witcher? <laughs> so, <clears throat> it's going to look very similar to this. So we're going to start off with the question, Anye, blank, Ahanet. Anye something a hundred. So let's put in Witcher. Are you a Witcher? Be pretty obvious from the eyes and the swords and the kind of just woo, intensity. <laughs> Anye Witcher a hundred. Are you a Witcher? Anye witcher a hundred. Are you a witcher? So that's the smooth translation. Are you a witcher? But if we go literally here, is it a witcher that's in you? Is the identity of a witcher in you? Yeah. Gleva. Mm. So we can we can toss in some of these other words. Anye murster, singular. Anye murster a hundred. Are you a murderer? Anye banafrunsa ahanet? Talking to Siri and wait a minute, wait a minute, the lion cub. Anye banafrunsa ahanet? Et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> so, this here, unet, this is aun plus u. 
Mm-hmm. Aon plus u. Aon plus u make unut. <laughs> and that, that does take time. It does take time to learn these. However, they're quite consistent going from phrase to phrase. So like on, um, we could say um, on it, under it, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So you'll learn a lot of these as your Gaelic grows in complexity. <clears throat> but there are patterns for those. Don't worry. And we'll go over those in another video. We'll look more at those. But for now, we're talking about identity here, talking about uh, they and she, he, we, you. Now, unit here is aun and u, so it's pretty informal. But what if you want to be formal? Hmm. We're going to change this. Anye witcher hunev. And this is aun plus shiv. Aun plus shiv make unav. And looking at this, we can see that. There's most of shiv in here, isn't it? I-B-H on the end? That's what I mean about these endings being consistent, you know, form to form. Yeah, you'll, you'll notice those. Those are really good to notice. Yeah. And you will. You will. You totally will. Anye wichid ahunev. Being polite. Kleva. And if we're being, uh, if we're speaking to a group of folk, oh, are, are, are you gentlemen witchers? <laughs> And ye witcherin a hunev. And ye witcherin a hunev. Are you witchers? Kleva. So, here's how it works. And one thing I do uh, wish to add on here to bring up is that there are two ways of talking about identity in Gaelic. This way is the traditional way, this way is the gold standard. You will encounter this, guaranteed. And it can be kind of confusing, kind of tricky. Rewatch this video, you know, play around with it. Um, look out for it when you read or when you listen to things. Yeah, when you watch videos, look for these kinds of phrases. They'll, they'll plant themselves in your mind. They take some time. But once you're familiar with this, oh, your Gallic will sound, will, will be a big step closer to that of a native speaker. Big time, big time. And you'll be getting, you'll be, you know, overcoming this giant obstacle that I would say every Gaelic learner has at first. Yeah, is how to talk about identity. It's in you. Yeah. So this way is the traditional way, super authentic, really in line with the Gaelic mindset. <clears throat> There's another way of doing it. And this is, I've been told it's a bit more modern and it's for things that are a bit more temporary, like work. So when talking about being a teacher, I could use either one. But if I'm talking about being an American, I would probably use this traditional style because it's a long lasting aspect of my identity, right? It's a long lasting part of my identity. Mm -hmm. Although I would say Mainer first, then American. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's take a look here. How would we say they are murderers in this different way, in this more modern, temporary way? Hmm. Let's see. So we could say ha it nan ha it nan murstern oh excuse me we want to make this nam why did i do that why did i do that cuz murstern starts with an m B F M P. Kleva. Ha yet nam murstern. Mm hmm. Kleva. Okay, maha. Ha yet nam murstern. They are in there. That's what nam means. In there. In there. Ha yet nam murstern. They are in their murderersness. <laughs> What about she's a princess? Ha e na bana prince. She is in her princess 
Roll. <laughs> Nas in her. Just like that. This way is a lot more straightforward. <laughs> it's similar to a lot of um, a lot of sentences that are familiar to learners. So oftentimes I might I'd teach this. Oftentimes I might. That's a bit redundant. Oftentimes I will teach this at first while also making sure to point this out and then gradually encourage my students to go this way here. Hi in a bana uh bana bana We need an H there. Shine. Gleva. Okay, Maha. <clears throat> he is a witcher. Ha e Ha e na witcher. It's his job. We could talk about it like that. Although to be a witcher means you are permanently changed. So I wonder. I wonder. I think it, personally, I think it would make more sense to say she witcher because they're mutants, right? They've changed. They cannot go back to being human at all if they survive the training at all. All right, she witcher and hanen. We are witchers. Ha, sheen, nar. That means in, r. Ha, sheen, nar, witcherin. We are witchers. We are witchers. Mm -hmm. So the difference between these two is this one starts with she and it's really emphasizing whatever comes next. They are murderers. She's a princess. He's a witcher. They are, or we are witchers. Whereas this is not emphasizing that so much. It's emphasizing that they are murderers. <laughs> well, it's, it's not even emphasizing that to be honest. It's just they're murderers. Whereas this is a bit stronger. Yeah. Again, it's a deeper truth about them. She's a princess. <laughs> He's a witcher. He can never unbe a witcher. <laughs> so, again, to recap, this is the more traditional style. You will absolutely see this. You will. And then this, as I've been taught, is a bit more modern. It's more straightforward. It's okay to use. Just keep in mind that this is more temporary. And an interesting point to all that is that people can change, um, well, people can change a lot of aspects of their identity these days or more easily. Um, for example, taking on citizenship of another country, you know, that's pretty easy to do to a degree. <laughs> so I wonder if in the future, if this way, this more modern way, will be used for talking about identity in terms of nationality things like that, because, you know, if I become, I don't know, if I become a Scottish citizen or a Swedish citizen or, you know, wherever, Finnish citizen, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it would be pretty, my Americanness would be temporary. Interesting thought for the future. I'm not sure. It'd be, I could see it being used that way. However, as, as best I know right now, as best I understand right now, this is for temporary things really used for jobs whereas this deeper truths about yourself and it can be your job if you have like a deep calling if you have a deep passion if you have a career sure use this <clears throat> okay and looking at these there's one little phrase that has been left out we need to be able to talk about ourselves <laughs> nice to talk about others and such but what about i am i am Hmm, I think we have some space down here. Yeah. <clears throat> so, let's go to the traditional style first. She, I'm a witcher. She, witcher, uh, Hanam. Oh, that's a bad N. Well, not a bad N, just a, an unclear N. She witcher hanam. I am a witcher. Beware. I am a witcher. 
<laughs> Steel for humans, silver for monsters. She witcher to Hanum. <laughs> she witcher to Hanum. Yeah. I am a witcher, the smoothed out translation, but to, do, to read it more literally, it is a witcher that's in me. It's the identity of a witcher that's in me. Yeah. Nice. So we could just take out witcher and put anything else. She teacher ahanam. Gleva. She teacher nagalik ahanam. Hmm. Even better. She Americanoch ahanam. An American. She mainoch. Mainoch. She mainoch ahanam. I'm a mainer. As some examples here. And then asking, are you are you a are you a witcher? Anye witcher a hunnit? Are you? Anye teacher a hunnit? How do we respond to those? Well, she is one of them. So she would be yes. Chanye is no. Nope. Chanye. Oh, chanye pion uanya akum. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot my orange pen. <laughs> well, maybe we'll go with purple for now. <laughs> Leva. <laughs> Ovov. Leva. So if you're asking the question, Anye, talking about someone's identity, just asking about it. Anye Wichirahunit, talking to Geralt maybe. Anye Wichirahunit. She. If they're not a witcher, chanye, chanye. And this gives you the negatives for all these. Yeah, they aren't murderers. Chanye, murstere na haunta. Chanye, bana freunsa ahincha. Chanye. Chanye, witcher a haun. Chanye, witcher in a hanin. We're not witchers. She, witcher a hanum. Chanye, witcher a hanum. Nice. So if we swap out the she here, which is positive, for chanye, which is negative, then we've got the negative forms of all of these. Yeah, great. That's a wonderful bonus. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that originally. Oh, great. When I was mapping things out, I mean, yeah. I didn't see that when I was, you know, putting these sentences up. Very cool. Very cool to have little bonuses like that. Gleva. All right. So here's how to talk about yourself. Ask about someone else informally, more politely, talking about us, you know, we, him, her, they. And then we have our more modern way, which is for more temporary things. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, would, you, would you like the more modern way for this one? Let's put it on here, just to have, just to have. All right, she witcher hanam. Saying it in this way, ha mi ha mi nam witcher ha mi nam witcher nam is own plus Mo. And we know that, we see it here because nam ends with M. Mo starts with M. Ah. And that's a pattern that will always be consistent. Ooh, ahanam. Look at this, M on the end. That can only be about me. Nice. Geva. Well, whew, there's a lot here. <laughs> Talking about identity in Gaelic can be kind of crazy sometimes, frustrating, you know, mind bending, but it doesn't have to be. Here's how it all works. Remember that identity, if it's long lasting, if it's a, just a deep truth about you, is in you. That's right. Gleva. And here's how it all works. Here's how to talk about yourself, ask about others, and then respond. Respond when someone asks you, she for yes, chanye for no. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next story video. Gleva.